Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be teaching you how to plan out your circuits with a stamp positioner. So let's get started. First, I take my stamp and place it on the lid of my Misty. I'm using the Marion Bright stamp set from the Rabbit Hole Designs. I love that big wreath and how it really can fill an A2 card front. Next, I take two panels of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I place those inside my Misty and then stamp the image with Copic Friendly Black Ink. I stamp it a few times to make sure I have a good impression and then I remove the top panel and use the leftover ink on the stamp to lightly stamp the image on my second panel. Using a stamp positioner like a Misty lets me ensure that my circuit will be placed exactly where I want it. I won't have to die cut or punch holes in my panel to see where to draw my template. I'm going to light up the center of each poinsettia, so I start by using the craft stencil to trace the outline of the original triangular LED shapes over the center of each poinsettia. I keep the point of the triangle pointed towards the middle of the panel and the long side of the triangle towards the edges. Next I take a piece of white cardstock cut to 1 inch by 2 inches and fold it in half to create a little holder for my battery. I apply adhesive to the back of the holder and adhere it in the bottom right corner of my panel. Then I use a pencil to trace my circuit for a reference. I start by drawing a line to the negative point of each triangle shape and finish it inside the holder. Then I draw a second line that starts inside the top flap of the holder, continues up and over the top of the holder, and then connects the long positive side of each triangle shape. Today I'm using our brand new conductive fabric tape strips that are made of the same material as our regular fabric tape roll but are conveniently pre-cut into easy to peel strips. I apply the tape along the inside of the battery holder and then over the negative point of each triangle shape. When I run out of tape, I simply overlap with a new strip. Then I apply tape along the inside of the top of the holder, up and over the holder, and then over the positive line of each triangle shape. Next, I place a CR2032 coin cell battery inside the holder, positive side up. We've also released a new, less expensive version of our conductive fabric patches. I place a patch over several of my corners and angles just to make sure I have a really strong connection. Then I add my LED stickers following the shape I traced earlier. The negative point of the triangle connects to the negative side of the battery, and the positive side of the triangle connects to the positive side of the battery when you push the holder flap down. After I adhere all of my LEDs, I close the holder and push down to make sure my LEDs light up. Then I add additional conductive fabric patches running parallel to my tape strips over the negative point and positive sides of my LED stickers. Again, this just helps make sure we have a strong connection and none of the LED stickers will shift in the mail. Now the light up part of my card is complete and you can see how those flowers glow. Next, I color the wreath with Copic markers. I use Y35 and Y38 for the flower centers R32, 35, 37, 39, and 89 for the flower petals. Then I use a mix of G21, 24, and 28 for the foliage, and Y35 and 38 for the berries.
Off camera, I also stamp the sentiment from Mary and Bright onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. I trim that down to a fishtail banner. And here's my finished coloring. I use a plastic grid sheet to help me line up and adhere my sentiment, and then I adhere the wreath panel over my circuit panel with foam mounting squares. And that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!